core of my heart, my country, land of the rainbow gold, for flood and fire and famine, she pays us back threefold. Over the thirsty paddocks, watch after many days, the filmy veil of greenness that thickens as we gaze. qualified as an accountant over in England in my mid-twenties and was desperate to travel. I'm very keen to experience something of the rest of the world. Um, somewhat nervous, but uh, you know, very much looking forward to a new stage of life. So I um, decided to leave, had a, a contract to um, work in Australia for two years and came over here and loved it. So I live about half an hour's drive south of Wodonga, so northeast Victoria. A high country being on your doorstep is wonderful. You know, it's an hour's drive to get to the uh, to a genuine alpine region, and I'm very familiar, very fond of the alpine country. Well, I grew up in England, and part of me still lives there. I think so. And possible, I'll spend some more time in England, but I certainly love. Uh, I'd be happy to live the rest of my life in Australia and Victoria. So my first impressions of Australia was like I just arrived in this air, airport and I find a real different world. I think it's a really good start to travel all over, all over the world. So if you like travel in Australia, you will like travel in all over the world. This country is perfect if you love nature and everything. But if you like, if you love city and the lifestyle of city, you got so big city with, you know, a lot of building and love like skyline. Obviously, I made something in in France like, you know, like baguette or that's that's really cliche. But I have uh, everything I need. I need from friends and more, so that's perfect. Really, can do your life for one month, two months, or many years. I will miss so much thing, like barbecue. Australian barbecue are awesome. To have colorful uh, birds because yeah, like it just make life better. It that small thing like that will do, like. Australia it's an amazing country because everything in France who is grey and a bit sad in France here it's like colourful and with sun and everything so yeah that's it's a good thing. It's really a common thing to study overseas in China now because people think um, maybe like Australian they have a better education system they teach you better they just they just um, they not concentrate on study only I want to go overseas I want to see this way I want to explore um, what happened outside not just within China not within just within my own city so um, that's why I came here actually it's not my mom's decision not my parents decision I asked them to send me here and at the first that they really worry about me because I was uh, when I first came here, I was only 16, so they like, ah, oh, you're too young. You don't know how to, you don't know how to fit in this society. But I think um, step by step, you um, get on the right track. Like you, you starting, you you starting to learn this Aussie slang. Like yeah, nah, my ah, that's really interesting thing. I I got many um, Australian friends here they are very easy going I think I'm still like acceptable in this society so I think it's not a big problem um, I think I will apply for the citizenship after graduate from uni because I love this city and and you can um, live really a, live a really good life here
feelings were so exciting when I first um, came here, when getting the plane, and I feel like, oh, now I'm traveling, traveling overseas and looking in a different way, in different aspects, and also in different views. The settling for me was quite hard, yeah, because like, <clears throat> for, um, when I came here, I was young, more like kid. First thing is like a language barrier, but later on, then I you know okay, it's time for me to pick up. So for sure, it's like how to engage in talking with people, how to say hello, how to make friends, introduce myself, and so many things that can make friends that easy. It is very hard to tell where should I belong to, which country, Vietnam or Australia. Uh, it is because um, I was born in Vietnam and then I uh, later on I, I grew up in here in Australia. Well, life is a journey and also a picture how you want to draw it. So it depends on you and you want to make it beautiful like I do. I want my picture to be beautiful, to be brilliant. So I had to draw on it, a lot of things on it and make it the best that I can do. I've been living in Victoria and Melbourne only for the last three and a half years. I came from Canada where I finished my PhD. Before that I was in Serbia where I was born. Um, I think this is a very multicultural city. Um, I worked at the university and I'm working at the university, so university is by nature a very international welcoming community. Uh, I think I have a feeling that maybe the city doesn't care much about you, so I don't think it's unwelcoming. It's just sort of a big city thing, you know, you just come in and you deal, it, deal with it. So. It's, yeah, Australia has been very interesting because you sort of get emerge, um, immersed sorry, uh, into this sort of everyday life, but then you stop at some point and you kind of realize, my God, everyone I know is so far away from here. And you suddenly feel very, very lonely. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, the people that I know are very friendly and very supportive of my own struggles to <laughs> sort of not feel lonely. Will I ever consider Australia or Victoria my home? It will really depend on how long I stay here. So I think it will take at least another two or three years before I actually start feeling that I sort of belong here. But eventually if I stay, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's been a great experience and I, I love my job here and I, I think it would be very difficult for me just to come and visit Australia uh, and it would have been a major loss, I think, not to see Australia because it's such a wonderful place and, and nature is just so magnificent. So really, it's, it's been a great experience. An opal orchid country. A will for lavish land. All you who have not loved her, you will not understand. Though earth holds many splendors, wherever I may die. I know to what brown country my humming thought will fly.